Hi, this is Krishnan Narayana Swami here, and I'm a solution engineer at Data Stacks. Today, I'm going to talk about what is Langflow and demonstrate how easy it is to build an AI application using Langflow. Langflow is an open source visual rag environment, or you can call it a framework built on Python that makes it easy for any developer, right? Be it experienced or new, to build any AI application, especially that are Langchain based, that leverages any data source or model or data coming from your own database. To install Langflow, it's as easy locally as starting a Python application, and this could be deployed in any environment of your choice, right? The project has been widely adopted immediately after release. It's been loved by various developers across the globe. As you can see, there's like 17K stars since we launched, and there are a number of people using it, and these are our awesome contributors, right? Okay, now, what are we going to build today? I'm going to demonstrate by taking a small PDF and then partitioning it and then chunking it and creating embedding of the data and storing it into vector store, which is data stacks, Astra vector store in our case. Let me show you how easy it was to build. Now, Langflow allows various components, as you can see on the left, that you can drag and drop. And I'm using a PI PDF loader in our case. I am using a data stacks white paper uh, that talks about, about what is vector search, um, why generative AI for organizations and developers, right? And what is RAG and its advantages and benefits and so on and so forth. So PI PDF loader component that takes in a file path of a PDF and then a recursive character text splitter component to chunk it uh, and then an OpenAI embeddings component that takes in an input as what model, and you can change it so easily in, in the user interface. This is then provided to a DataStax AstraDB component with various properties to connect to the database, and then store it into the collection, which is DataStax underscore docs in our case. This is DataStax Astra Vector Store console. As you can see, it's using 1536 dimensions, and it's got 23 records. Right. So just to show you, um, like this is the actual content from the PDF and it is actually got um, some of the vector embeddings and also you can use metadata to identify the source and so on. And the metadata could be used to also filter to get the most relevant context. Now, the second part of the demonstration is to actually build a AI chatbot. But before we go there, I want to emphasize that loading the data is not going to be as simple as we saw, right? When you build your own Gen AI application, you might need data from different data sources. You might need it from a database, from a knowledge base, or various other platforms. So essentially, you will end up creating a RAG pipeline to process and embed the data and with an LLM and store it into, let's say, data stacks, Astra Vector Store, right? This is exactly where Langflow helps to build that RAG pipeline easily. And why it is so easy? Because it's a drag and drop RAG environment, right? And it integrates with number of data sources and it's very, very powerful, right? Now all these drag and drop components are reusable and they are mostly pre-built and they are all power, like Python based and they are very powerful and you can customize it. Or you can even build your own component. Right? And there is a wealthy list of community building various components as this space evolves faster. Right? The other thing is you can do one click deployment. So we have a production ready uh, RAG application or a RAG pipeline that can be integrated into your existing uh, ecosystem of AI applications. Right? I mean, talking about various components, you have an option of Langflow store where we have number of pre-built components from the open source community, plus data stacks engineers. And this is going to really help you or save a lot of time for you to build a, an AI application. Now let's move into uh, the chatbot itself, right? So typically a chatbot would have number of steps like this. It's going to be complex in a production use case, obviously, right? You would take inputs from text, voice, and so on. You would have an LLM detect 
the intent of what the user is asking or you might do a named entity recognition to find out some key insights from his query right that you could use in a hybrid search that you would do in in data stacks and astra right you would also store chat history for example you would store chat feedback from the users into the database right so all of this info you will then use it for analytics and insights and so on and so forth right so for all of this you will need something like now let's go and look at our chatbot uh, application um, so the chatbot i've got another flow here it comes in with a chat input and i'm feeding that with an open ai embedding text3 small to a data stacks astra db search component here to fetch the relevant context from astra db now this is then fed into a prompt right so i'm saying hey you are a data stacks ai assistant right and give me an answer in less than 400 words and the other thing landflow allows is to declare variables on the fly so here as i write my context here it detects that it's a new variable and adds another field automatically pretty cool right and then i provide a model which is a chat open ai which is then provided to a conversation chain and then lastly the chat output so you can actually use uh, an inbuilt testing tool like this one run and test your flows here so i have asked a question previously what is vector search there comes right the context from astra db fed to an llm and the response is here right now this is just pretty cool to build it and then test it right how would you take it to production so you would integrate it with your own ui or mobile application or you can build your own python code right so landflow allows uh, apis where you can actually call and run the flow from your own application so i want to quickly demonstrate that right so here is our flow id and it's running locally um, so i have a small streamlit application um, that actually uh, calls the same flow that I have built, which is the chatbot. And then I feed in a payload with the input from the user and run the flow, right, uh, with that payload. So I'm going to provide the input value and then uh, use the API key to call the flow and the flow and get the output and display. Pretty simple UI. One, right? So let's ask that question from this. Uh, what are the benefits of RAP? Perfect. Now, let's go and find out what the PDF says, right? So, uh, okay, so it's talked about RAG here, and these are the benefits of RAG, right? So let's go back and see if our response. Okay, so reducing hallucinations, quick training of LLM, uh, and then perfect, in summary, right? Pretty, pretty, uh, very good, relevant response, right? Perfect. Now, that concludes our demonstration. We built a RAG application in just five minutes in this demonstration. Now you can easily take this into production. So each of these components here are individual uh, compute that runs separately. And this is ready for your scale and ready for production. Right? Now, other things I could add to this demo is I want to add, like, let's say, compass conversation history and store it in Astra DB and also maybe add a feedback in the UI and collect human feedback and store it in Astra DB so I can continuously improve my chatbot. That's it for me today. Thank you so much.